Hi, this is Kelly Kalish. In this training video, I'll be walking you through steps to create a non-catalog request in Oracle iProcurement. This is a process you'll use anytime you need to order supplies, materials, equipment, labor, or any other items. Let's get started. The type of non-catalog request we're covering is a request to purchase goods that aren't contained in an internal catalog, public list, favorite list, or through an external punch-out site. We're going to enter a requisition for an external hard drive so I can free up some space on my laptop. Now that we're logged into iProcurement, from the home page we'll select Create Non-Catalog Request in the toolbar. To begin, we'll select an item type. We have three choices here. Goods billed by quantity, for example 10 books at $10 each. Service billed by quantity, for example 10 hours of training at $100 an hour. And lastly, goods or services billed as an amount, for example, $10,000 worth of trading. We'll select goods billed by quantity because we're ordering one hard drive at a set price. Next, we need to describe our item. Provide as much detail here as possible to help the buyer understand what you're trying to request. You can cut and paste if you have access to an official manufacturer's description, and that's what we'll do in this case. Since I found the hard drive on Amazon, I'll copy the description of the exact model I'm requesting. Your order may be delayed if your description doesn't contain enough information and the buyer has to verify what you're requesting. Select a category from the list of values by clicking on the flashlight. Enter the percent sign to search all category options. For this example, we're going to select Computers, Hardware. We'll enter 1 for the quantity of items needed. We also need to select a unit of measure from the list of values, for example, each, pack, foot, box, etc. We'll select each because we're ordering one external hard drive. A master list of units of measure and their abbreviations is available. We must also provide an estimated price for our item. Remember, this is only an estimate. This price will be used for approval purposes, so it needs to be reasonably accurate. However, purchasing will list the actual price on the purchase order. And based on your description, purchasing may be able to find a better price on the item you're requesting. Enter the numbers and decimals only. Don't enter dollar sign. The currency dropdown defaults to US dollars. Don't change this. The rest of the information on this screen is optional, but again, it's best to include it if you have it available. To enter supplier information, select a supplier name from the list of values. In this case, once we select Amazon.com, some additional information will auto-populate. If there are multiple sites, you may select a supplier site from the list of values. If only one site exists, the site will auto-populate for you like it did for Amazon. You may also opt to select a supplier contact from the list of values, but this isn't required and in some cases, like with Amazon.com, if a contact doesn't exist for the vendor, the field will remain blank. If only one contact exists, the information will auto-populate for you. You also have the option of selecting a supplier phone number from the list of values. If only one phone number exists, it will auto-populate for you. If a contact doesn't exist for the vendor, the field will remain blank. One final option you have here is to enter a supplier item number or part number if you know it, but let's go ahead and cut and paste our item number for the hard drive from Amazon. Now that we're finished, we'll click Add to Cart. This adds our non-catalog request to our shopping cart. Two other options are available once you complete your non-catalog request. Select the Clear All button. If you've made an error, wish to clear the entire form and begin again. If you click Clear All, all information on this page will be lost. Select the Add to Favorites button to add the selected items to your personal favorites list. This saves you time from having to re-enter the items again for future requisitions. So, if we knew we were going to be ordering this same hard drive again in the future, we could click Add to Favorites. Now that we've entered the hard drive into our shopping cart, Let's briefly review the shopping cart itself. Please continue with the next training video titled How to Add Items to the Shopping Cart.